everyone, welcome back. I'm Katie and today is our favorite video of the month. It is time for our TBR Around the World game. I am so excited. This video gets me all excited, also nervous because you never know how many rolls you're gonna get, right? So. I'm excited. Okay, let's see how we did last month. So March was almost a complete fail. I only, I think I completed two books on my TBR and I'm behind in my reading journal. I don't even think I put the prompts in my reading journal for March. So I have to still go do that. That will be the task for this week to catch up in my reading journal and my review journal as well because I have to do that as well. So yes, note to myself. <laughs> and to anyone who's procrastinating of just like a small thing, it should get done, right? Uh, okay, so yes, I completely failed. Let's go ahead and pick a, a, yeah, let's go pick a punishment from the jar. Hey everyone, so I'm actually filming this little clip ahead of time because I know, I know, even though I'm going to try, I know I'm going to fail my TBR this month because it is just, Yes, I, yes, it was a busy month for me. You know, middle grade March, I had review books, I was helping out an author friend, so it was a busy month. I'm hoping April's gonna be a lot better, but it is time for the punishment and reward jar. Once this, once spring is done and summer rolls in, I will be much better at accomplishing TBRs. Um, but honestly, the punishments are just as fun as the rewards, if I'm being honest, it's just a lot of fun. So. I have my jar here. We're going to give it a good shake. We've got we've got both in here, rewards and punishments, but they're different shapes and different things. So my hands are free, so you don't know that I'm not cheating or don't know that I'm not cheating. Don't know. Yeah, don't know that I'm not cheating. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, that 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 is. Yes, that is a punishment. So that's one we're going to take. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Okay. So the punishment for this month and I have not accomplished the one for last month. Last month's punishment was to read a memoir. I am on hold for the memoir I want to read. I struggled. I went through like four or five and I was just like nothing was hitting me. I finally want to listen to Roald Dahl's uh, memoir about his time as a fighter pilot during the war. But it's still on hold. I put it on hold like two weeks ago and it still says four weeks. I'm like, are you kidding? Like it was four weeks, two weeks ago. How can it still be four weeks now? I don't get it, but here is our punishment. Oh, please be something nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> a book that intimidates me, and I can add this into my TBR game. So books that intimidate me the most are nonfiction, books that are over 500 pages. Let's be honest here. I don't like to read those that often. Uh, even though, I mean, if they're good, I do enjoy them, but it takes a lot out of me to read that. So nonfiction, 500 page book. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any other things that I'm intimidated by. There's no genre I'm really intimidated by if I'm being honest. Uh, classics, I would say classics are more so in general, a little bit, but they don't intimidate me that much. I can still read them. Uh, I could put Nagatha Christie on here because um, they kind of intimidate me because they could be very hit or very miss. So that could be an intimidation for me. I might do that. Or I do have a few options that could be over 500 pages. So we'll see. So that one's not terrible. So let's go ahead and just get on with our rules. I lost my rules. I want to make sure I get them right because sometimes, sometimes even my brain, like I've been playing this how long, but the rules did change this year. So I have my cards and I'm going to go ahead and give those a nice shuffle and then we're going to go ahead and do our rolls. Okay, we have our character today. He's going to hang out with us. I have my 12-sided dice. All right, roll number one. We got an 11. Ooh, okay. That's going to be good for us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We missed the rainbow. That's good. All right, so it is one cloud prompt. Our prompt is going to be, you watched the show slash movie first. Okay, so, okay, so this is something that I've already watched in the past, and I have to read the 
book version of it. Okay, this might take a little bit of thinking. Rule number one landed us on a cloud prompt. So I was thinking about this and I thought, well, the first thing that popped up into my head was Pride and Prejudice, but I am really not in the mood for a classic this month. There's like, like if I put that on there, there's no way I would finish my TBR. Like, and I really want to in April. I really want to. So for a book that I've watched the movie and this is up for debate because I read the book when I was like three, but I feel like I watched the movie first. So for that one, I'm going to be choosing Cinderella, not the children's book, but I'm going to be choosing a retelling adaptation of Cinderella. So for that one, I'll be reading If the Boot Fits by Karen Whitmire. This is a Texas Ever After retelling series, and this one is Cinderella. And I know for a fact that I probably, I'm like 95% sure that I watched Cinderella before I before it was even read to me as a child. So we are going with If the Boot Fits. So this is a retelling, as I said, of Cinderella. And uh, the the Cinderella is actually Cinderfella in this one. So we're following a guy named Asher, and he is convinced that his stepmother and half-brothers have been wrongly evicted by the cattle king Eli Deering. So he goes, to the this extravagant ball that this cattle king has has had and he ends up fleeing that ball and but there's a boy that cries in danger and he needs to rescue that little boy so and then samantha is the princess and she ends up finding the boot of the man who disappears so i think it's going to be a really good and yeah this is probably my favorite cover of her series so far. There's only two books yet so far, but I really like it. Oh, there's a boot. <laughs> I just realized there's a boot on the cover. I thought that was like a knot in the tree because it kind of looks like that, but it's a boot. So this will be the first book on my April TBR. Roll number two. That was a lousy roll, but we did actually get another 11. Can we show that? Yes, an 11. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. We got the suitcase, which is our TBR Star Claw. Okay. So the TBR Claw Machine hit us again this month. This is like, I love the TBR Star, Star Claw Machine. I think it's wonderful. But when I have books that I'd like to get to, and I don't know what's in here, sometimes it can be a little bit, a little bit scary. So we only got one star, thankfully, because I did put in a rule that said, it depends on how many I get in a claw, that's what I have to read. And we only got one. So thankfully, we only got one. Let's go ahead and open it up. I really should use thinner paper for these, but let's see. Oh, it's, oh no. It says Kindle Unlimited. Why did I put a Kindle Unlimited book on here? Apparently I was crazy because I no longer have Kindle Unlimited. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to see if I can get this on uh, Hoopla because Hoopla sometimes has books that, that could be on Kindle Unlimited. I can't open it. I think it's Casey Lane, I think. So it is, I believe, a contemporary romance. We got, let's see. All right, so we got Hunting for Love by Casey Lane. And I think I may have seen this on, on, on Hoopla. So that's the book that I will be reading. I know it is a contemporary romance. That's all I know. I don't know why I put this in there. I really have no idea. Maybe I thought, hey, I would pick it before my Kindle Unlimited subscription went out. But no, apparently not. So Hunting for Love by Casey Lane. Okay, rule number three. <laughs> of course, the harder I roll, I get a one. All right, so one is a cloud, and that one gives us a backlist author. Awesome. Okay, so this is, uh, I think I'm going to do it where, like, I pick a book from, like, I do have a backlist in my reading journal of authors that I want to read their backlists from, so we're going to pick from there. That's a good choice. Now we got a backlist author. So I know two authors specifically that are on my list. Those are the first two that I thought of in my head was Jamie Jo Wright and Joanna Davidson Politano. Both of those ladies are on my list to read their backlist. So 
They're both amazing. I love them both. I've read more of Jamie's than Joanna's. So I feel like I should go for a Joanna book just based off of that. So we, let's see. Let's see what we can pick. If I'm not mistaken, which I probably am, I found this on my TBR cart. And because this was on my TBR cart and not my other bookshelf, I feel like this is one of my 24 four or 25 books to read in 2024 so we're gonna go with this one based off of that I'm pretty sure it was I don't know why I chose this one but we're gonna go with this one based off of I think it's on that list so we could actually mark off one off that list that we've only read like one book off so far so this is Lady Jane Disappears and this one is about a girl whose father passes away and he leaves her just two things his famous pen name Nathaniel Droll and his wealthy family who wanted very little to do with her. As Orly struggles to find a home with her father's family and learn the rules of society, she relishes in his parting gift, the beginning of his last story. The story she always wanted to hear about her mother's mysterious disappearance from the home where she now lives. To complete the novel, she'll have to extract clues from relatives and one enigmatic house guest who often seem reluctant to give them up. So really, really excited about this one. This, this book was on so many lists to read. I think it was last year or the year before. So I was like, might as well put it on this list, right? I think it's going to be a great read. I love Joanna, so I think it's going to be great. And I love this cover. It's one of my favorites. Okay, this is rule number four. Okay, it is an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whoo, eight. We, oops, forgot to move it down. But we did just Mitz and Rainbow. If you want me to do it again, I'll do it again. Where was I? You're here. Yeah, one after that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we got the globe, which is, I believe, it is the prompts on a wheel. So we will spin the wheel of prompts, and we will pick our prompt from it there, which they are different prompts from what's in the pile here. Roll number four got us the prompt wheel. So we'll spin the wheel. Unfortunately, I film on my phone, so I can't, like, spin the wheel and show you guys, but I did not cheat. I did not roll it, like, 50,000 times to get it. And it came this close to being nonfiction. I was like, please, I do not want nonfiction. Like, I don't have any nonfiction to read next month. Like, I don't want to. But thankfully, it was like, almost like on the line. But it hit sci-fi. So yay for sci-fi, because I do have sci-fi on my list this month. So I only have book two through four on my physical TBR. Uh, book one, I don't own yet. Still can't find it new, so still looking. But I am going to be reading Brand of Light, which is the first book in the Ronnie Kendig uh, Drosterin Saga series. So I know nothing about this series. I kind of want to go into it not knowing because it's just, it's sci-fi. I think it has to do with a, with a bounty hunter. Yes, a bounty hunter. So I think it's going to be great. I also think I put that book on my readathon prompt that's going to happen in April. I did a completely separate video for that, so I will link it down below in the description box for you that I put all my TBRs for that readathon on there instead of in here. That way this video is not too long. But yes, I'm going to be reading the first one, a bounty hunter sci-fi book. I think I'm going to really enjoy it. And I've been looking forward to reading this series probably for at least three to four years. So finally, we're going to actually read them. And I'm hoping to binge read the entire series since I think book four Book four is either out or it's going to be out or book five. Book five is either going to be out very soon or it's already out. Something like that. But hopefully I'm going to get to book five as well. Roll number five could be our last roll. So what did we get? <laughs> it's not. Oh, well, we got another one. One, which is another cloud prompt. And this one is with the long one. Title begins with the letter of the month. Okay, so this TBR is for... I mean, I could pick the month we're actually in, but it should be for actually where we're going. Since this is the April TBR, we're going to go with A. It's A for April. And I thought this was going to be extremely hard because I was not going to use A or Ann. I really tried hard. Like, I wasn't going to do that. And lo and behold, a book that I have to read for review, and that is The Ark and the Dove. I took out the the because usually you do anyways when you're alphabetizing. So The Ark and the Dove by Jill Eileen Smith. This is her newest release. This is a book about Noah and his wife, Zara. And so they, it's, it goes like 
I feel like some of her stories, especially recently, have been very generational. I feel like, like, they go on for, like, quite a long time. So we're seeing, like, before the flood, we're seeing the challenges that they face in the town, how the world has become. And then we're seeing the flood, and I think we're also seeing, like, you know, what happens after the flood. So very, very excited to read this one. I've heard good things about it, so I'm very excited because I love Jill Eileen Smith, and I can't wait to, to read this one of hers. Roll in number six. What do we get? Ah, a nice big number 10. So that will be our last number. One, two, three. Takes us off in the airplane, which means we get a travel prompt from the airplane travel pile. And our travel prompt this month is character that takes a trip. Wow, okay, that's pretty easy. And hopefully I can find one. All right. And finally, we got our last roll of the month. So it wasn't too bad. We got six books this month. That is not bad at all. It's very doable. And it's been mostly books that I either had to read or want to read. So this month has been pretty good to me. I don't know if I'll get to that Kindle Unlimited book. I still will have to see if I can get it. But if I can't, I'm going to have to pick another prompt, unfortunately, or another book. All right. So this one was a character that takes a trip. And for that one, I am going to go ahead and combine this with my punishment for this month. And that is a book that intimidates me. So I'm going to be picking the fourth book in the Dreamkeeper saga. This is The Quest for the Guardians by Catherine L. Butler. I have this one for a review. So number one, it needs to get done. So that intimidates me that I have to read it this month because of that. So that's a little intimidating. Not really. I mean, I... I finish reviews fairly quickly, and if I don't, then I'm like, hey, you know, something happened. But I do try to get to them as soon as I can. So I will be reading this one. And it is a chunker. I think it's at least 400 pages. Yes, at least 400 pages. It's not 500 like I thought I was going to, but I mean, honestly, anything 400 and more kind of intimidates me, especially like if I'm on a deadline. So this is the book I'm going to choose for intimidation. Also, I felt like book three was a little slower for me personally. So going into book four, that kind of intimidates me a little bit as well. So we got some options with this book. So yes, I think, I think we're going to do that. Okay. Now, before I forget, I don't want to forget because I want to mention it in this video too. Our buddy read for the readathon in April is going to be What Happens Next by Christina Suzanne Nelson. I'm actually trying to get into contact with her, seeing if she'll do a little a little Q&A live book discussion with me at the end of the month. I haven't heard back from her yet, so that might not happen. I'm sorry if it doesn't, but this is going to be the book we're going to read, and I am going to do, even if it's just myself, with a live book discussion at the end of the month, so that should be fun. And there's like some weird lighting thing going on. Is it just me? It looks like weirdly foggy on my camera, but anyway, so we're going to be reading that one. So plus that one. These are the books I'm going to read, plus the one on Kindle Unlimited, which I'm not sure if I'm going to get. So those ones. And if I'm unable to get that one book, I will put a clip in here picking a different one. So, but that, that's, that's the, yeah, that plus, plus the one. So I found terrible for the month and I have a ton more I have to get to anyways, but I think we're going to be okay. All right. Let me know what you're going to read in April, your plans for the readathon, all the fun stuff, all the book related, all the non-book related stuff. I love to chat with you down in the comments and I will see you all in the next video.